Hello guys, so today we are going to discuss about uh, lotus leaf effect. So lotus is known for its super hydrophobicity. So all of you might have seen the lotus in the usually in the, the dirty water, right? But the lotus uh, leaf or if you see the lotus flower, it will be unaffected by this particular dirt. Why? Because it will be so pure so that the dirt will not be there because it has got the self-cleaning property. This self-cleaning property comes based on the super hydrophobicity. Now, what do you mean by super hydrophobicity? All of you know hydrophobicity, hydrophilicity. So, hydrophobicity in the sense hydro hating, hydrophobic. Okay, and where is water hating it is. So, whereas uh, hydrophilic in the sense water loving. So, hydrophobic in the sense it is water hating property. That means it comes based uh, in the particular uh, lotus leaf. What happens? It has got super hydrophobicity that means the water heating property is little bit more here the reason the scientists when they studied this particular uh, the surface of this lotus leaf they came to know that this particular leaf inside the party on uh, on the surface of this particular leaf that they came to know that there were micro or nano structures which were present and these structures were the responsible for making the surface as a super hydrophobic and that is how that is how that is we will study that uh, depends on the contact angle and if the contact angle is more the droplet formation will be more so that if the droplet forms faster it when it will fall it will take off dirt which is present on the leaf so that's how it is self it has got self cleaning property it doesn't mean that it is cleaning itself it means it has got the structure in so that so uh, phobic to waters i mean uh, so hydrophobic to uh, hydrophobic so that uh, the water molecule will not sit there they will form a uh, bubble i'm sorry uh, what do you say they, yeah they will form a uh, drop and then they will while uh, uh, while falling they will uh, remove the dirt which is present in this so now the lotus uh, let's start with the slides so the lotus leaf effect also known as the uh, lotus effect so this effect uh, refers to the ability of lotus leaves to repel water and self clean through their unique surface structures now this effect has inspired the development of super hydrophobic and self cleaning surfaces which have been widely used for the applications in various industry now wherever i don't want water to stay i can use this particular property for example uh, uh, painting the uh, you know apartments or uh, uh, housings or buildings wherever especially in the area of uh, uh, what do you say in the in the area of uh, uh, or, uh, in the area of uh, uh, when it comes to the uh, like uh, coastal belt for example uh, uh, goa mangalore or uh, uh, in, in we are having the uh, wherever we are having the coastal belt so that uh, because of the sea is present so there will be humidity will be there if the humidity is there what happens the water molecules will be there on the uh, in the air and those will sit on this particular housing building so that they will create uh, you know a kind of fungus kind of structure and all right so there we can have a paint where we can introduce this super hydrophobic property uh, crystals nano crystals or micro crystals we can make which will uh, have this particular property so that this paint if you paint it to the building so that they will have uh, particular uh, you know water rating property water repellent property so that water will not sit so it can be used for uh, in, in the, the painting can stay for a longer duration so and also another example even the for the uh, what do you say automobiles like cars and uh, even the uh, higher end models like uh, mercedes and benz and uh, bmw companies they are already using the painting uh, the super hydrophobic painting based on this particular effect so that the water molecules will not sit uh, on that particular uh, uh, the car body for a long period of time and if any uh, water molecules uh, is there and it will form the drops and then it will clean off the dirt so it also it gives it gives both the property super hydrophobicity and as well as self cleaning property so the lotus leaf surface has a micro scale and nano scale structures that consist of numerous small bumps and wax coated hairs now this structure creates a high contact angle between the water droplets and the surface so causing droplets to roll off and carry away any dirt or debris just now we explained so this self cleaning property is due 
to the lotus leaf stability or sorry ability to repel water and as well as resist radiation what we just ex uh, what i just explained in the introduction is written here so this is how it looks like you can see this is the structure and we are having the epidermal cell, uh, cell microstructures these green stuff with green blocks what you can see those are the microstructures and we are having the this debris which you can see in the green color little bit of uh, dark green and uh, you can also see the wax crystals and these are the microstructure or even the, you can say the smaller structure can be the nanostructures so these micro and nanostructures make sure that the higher contact angle once the higher contact angle when water comes and comes on and falls on the leaf it will form a droplet because there is no attachment okay it will heat this surface will heat the water so it will form a drop and it will start falling it while falling it it takes off this particular dirt along with that okay so that's how the it will also act as a self cleaning property so the same thing uh, comparison uh, normal uh, this is the normal uh, what uh, surface and this is the lotus effect or lotus leaf surface or any super hydrophobic thing or if you can make uh, uh, by the inspiration of the lotus leaf so same thing here the drop what we just saw in the droplet will take off the all the dirt but here what happens since this substrate is not hydrophobic in nature it is attached on the surface so it is taking the dirt like this so it is not going to contain this dirt along with it why because it is going slowly and it just goes like that slowly so because since there is no much movement faster or there is no droplet formation it can't hold this particular you know contaminants or the dirt inside it so that it will just fall off so but it will not take this thing so it, it the self cleaning property will not be there because of the la lack of contact angle or less contact angle let's see what is contact angle and all in the next slides so super hydrophobic and super self cleaning property have application in industries like aerospace automotive building materials and medicinal applications example self cleaning coatings can be used on the exterior buildings to reduce the uh, reduce the need for the cleaning and maintenance while super hydrophobic coatings can be used to prevent icing on aircraft wings so super hydrophobic uh, super hydrophobic effect is a uh, uh, sub topic to this uh, so that was an introduction for this particular lotus effect now we know what is lotus effect and uh, major thing is we are having super hydrophobic effect and as well as the self cleaning property now whatever we discussed is same thing continuous here but with some extra knowledge that is about contact angle so the principles uh, the principle of super hydrophobic surfaces goes like this so the super hydrophobic effect refers to the ability to certain uh, of a certain surfaces to repel the water and resist the wetting so it should heat the water it should take off the water so as soon as possible super hydrophobic surfaces are characterized by the high contact angle so here the contact angle will be more than 150 degree when there is a more than 150 degree the water rolls off so this is how it looks like so for example this is till 90 degree or less than 90 degree we can accept hydrophobic surfaces contact angle so uh, more than that hydro uh, hydrophobic now how to measure this contact angle see now imagine this is a surface and water is falling when you put the water on particular slides and all if it is falling like this uh, if it is distributing all over the surface then it is having a zero degree contact angle so more hydrophilic in nature the surface is more hydrophilic that means water loving it can next less than 90 a little bit drop will form if the hydrophobicity is little bit more 90 degree if it is more than 90 degree it starts getting the hydrophobic nature and if it is more than 150 degree you will achieve the super hydrophobicity so that the droplet will form if there is no uh, this thing a uh, space to stand on this so droplet has to fall uh, roll right so during rolling it takes off the dirt so that's how we will get the so uh, self cleaning property so now materials and examples now we need to make this uh, uh, you know uh, in, in engineering application artificially we need to make to make that what we need to study we need to study the surface chemistry of our materials and as well as the structures to achieve extremely high water repellency or super hydrophobicity so several materials and coating techniques 
are used to prepare super hydrophobic surfaces. Here some of the examples are there. We are having the fluoropolymers, silica based nanoparticles, carbon based materials, metal based materials, polymer based materials, you know, natural materials and hybrid materials. So usually it comes under the material science whereas nano materials plays a very important role. So techniques used, so there are a lot of techniques are used. Uh, you can say uh, to prepare the material, to modify the surface and or the structure or chemistry of the materials okay and make sure that to get the water repellent property okay so some of the examples are that cvd that is chemical vapor deposition this is also a te deposition technique where you are having a substrate and you will be keep on heating it so that the molecules will be operated and it will go and sit on the cold flange and that can be removed later and it, it will form a layer so next all gel method will be there so where the solution will be converted into the gel form and followed by the the nanoparticles like then then the, those nanoparticles can be used for the coating purpose next we are having the electrochemical methods by using the anode and cathode and then there will be a, you know emission and then the uh, deposition kind of stuff will be there next plasma treatment and same thing goes for micro and nanostructure and techniques like photolithography lithography techniques you might have already studied for ic preparation and all the similar way next laser ablation where laser blame will be given uh, you know blame will be given uh, nano uh, sphere uh, nano sphere lithography where the nano sphere lithography which will be focused on this particular size and next electron spinning will be there so where the electron spinning can be used so that the deposition will be there and then finally chemical modification of the surface so engineering application it has got many applications in electronics automotive industry aerospace industry and even uh, as i discussed about uh, the housing uh, uh, industry so electronics industry uh, you can have uh, you know, for example uh, super hydrophobic coatings on circuit boards connectors or wherever you don't want water water to be there or moisture to be there you can use same thing goes for moisture resistance also next self cleaning properties we discussed so far you can just write it like that only okay. automotive industry anti fogging windows and mirrors self cleaning surfaces fuel efficiency so fuel efficiency we can separately discuss that is Super hydrophobic coatings can reduce drag and friction thus resistance on vehicle surfaces. How? Leading to improve the aerodynamics property. So because of the aerodynamics property and so what happens? You can also say the uh, increase the fuel efficiency. By minimizing water addition, what happens? The coating helps to reduce the accumulation of water droplets on the vehicle's exterior part. So decreasing the drag and, uh, and optimizing the performance. That's how it will help in fuel uh, gaining the better fuel efficiency. Next aerospace industry anti-icing and de-icing that is very important for the wings and components and the sensors and then drag reduction obviously the drag is very important that should be reduced so that we can increase the efficiency of the flight and the fuel efficiency corrosion resistance obviously wherever uh, corrosion corrosion happens because of the moisture so if the moisture is avoided by this particular coating we can avoid the corrosion uh, this thing so next self cleaning property as we discussed so uh, that cleans about uh, themselves that is called a self cleaning property so super hydrophobic nature is there high contact angle again it is same thing debris and it will take it off principle also same the reduction of uh, surface energy and the modification of surface structure because of, by, by doing so we can have the hydrophobicity so that it can take off the dirt next the, here are some of the breakdown principle first low surface energy because of the low surface energy what happens that means reduced affinity of liquid or solid particles so that means there is no much contact with them next lotus effect we discussed that micro and nanostructure surface because of these structures present in there so it is very uh, they are hydrophobic in nature uh, and that also we saw in the diagram picturization in the uh, the lotus effect external factors for example uv radiations that can activate the photocatalytic reactions on certain surfaces breaking down organic matter and enhancing the self cleaning properties so materials and examples are used as photocatalytic coatings super hydrophobic coat, uh, coatings self cleaning glass oleophobic uh, coatings oleophobic coatings wherever we doesn't want the greasy structures we can go for oleophobic so micro or non structure surfaces which will give you the hydro, uh, you know, super hydrophobicity and eventually self cleaning fabrics. So applications, architecture and buildings as discussed, solar panels, very important nowadays. There's a lot of uh, 
moisture uh, sitting lot of dirt will be there so because of that the absorb solar absorption uh, light absorption will not be there next automotive industry electronics textile medical equipment kitchen and bathroom surfaces outdoor signatures and billboards air conditioning and ventilation systems food and beverage industry so that's it uh, the next topic we will discuss in the next class